Hey, welcome to another episode of Nighthawk HVAC. So uh, we got a commercial unit. It was on a pizza joint. And uh, the complaint was there was low airflow. Uh, he was only getting about 300 feet per minute coming out of each vent. And it's a five ton unit, so I should have been getting, you know, I should be getting pretty good airflow. But uh, I went up onto the roof to check it out, and I actually found a little bit more going on. So here's how it went. But then I first came up here, and the compressor was just loud and obnoxious. So um, then it went off on thermal overload. So um, right now I'm trying to cool it. Got my little rig up set up here, just putting water on the compressor. And then I got continuity across two legs. Because right now I got an open line across everything. So if we go from line one to line two, or line one to line three, it's open. Uh, line one to line two, it's open. Line two to line three, it's open. So pretty much I'm gonna go downstairs and do some paperwork. But I got this thing all zip tied and pouring water on it. So hopefully by the time I get back up here, uh, it'll be reset. And then uh, got my gauges hooked up, gonna see what it's doing. But I have a feeling that the compressor is running backwards because uh, it sounded awful. And uh, the, the EVAP coil wasn't even cold. Um, so I, I mean, I, I opened it up and checked it. So yeah, that's where we're at. So once this thing's reset, we'll go ahead and uh, give it a shot and see what happens. So here we go here. And we have continuity, so that means our compressor's thermal overload has been reset. So I'm very happy about that. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn off my water thing here. Oh, this worked out a lot better than I thought it would. I love zip ties. Alrighty, so we're gonna check the windings just since we got it disconnected. So this is a three-phase compressor, so we should be getting about the same reading across every uh, every leg. So. Right now I'm on line three to line two and I'm getting 1.3. Okay, so we're going from line three to line one. 1.3. And we're gonna go from line one to line two. And 1.4. Okay, so that's fine. It's never gonna be perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and reconnect this thing and run it for a second um, just to see what the hell the refrigerant stuff's doing. It's just to make sure it's not another issue. Um, if it's making that crazy noise and it's going backwards, then uh, we'll cut it off, switch some wires around, and then go from there. So, doubt thermostat's off downstairs. Now, this is a heat pump, so you'll notice I got some wiring stuff going on here. So, this is a heat pump. So, in order to energize cooling, you need to energize Y and you need to energize O. That's because this is default heat, so if you only energize Y, you're going to put it in heat mode. So that means it's just going to turn the compressor on, reversing valve will stay in the heat position. So when you energize O, it's going to switch it to the cooling position. So you need to energize both at the same time. If I just wanted to run heat, all I'd have to energize is Y. So that's why I got this mess of cable. So we're going to flip this thing on. Okay, and now we're gonna wait because this thing, the circuit board's got a delay built into it, and we'll see what happens. Delay, the original call for this one was uh, airflow is weak, so I was getting about 300 feet per minute. This is a five ton unit, and it's only like 1200 square feet, um, so it should just be blowing everyone's hats off. Um, so it was even. So I, I checked the blower, so basically what happened is this is wired for cooling, uh, low stage cooling. The only thing that changes on the low stage cooling is the blower speed. So it's got these handy dandy little jumpers built into it. So basically I move the W2 to the W1, that way it'll energize um, the high speed on the blower instead of just the low speed. Um, so that should fix our airflow problem. Um, but now when I came up here, I found the issue with the compressor. So they didn't even know about that. So always check. 
but yeah, that compressor sounded awful. As you're about to see if this thing ever turns itself on. So we're just gonna sit here and wait uh, for the compressor to come, come on and uh, we'll go from there. up and running blowers running uh, I sped up the blower speed a little bit because uh, wasn't pushing 2000 CFM so we're gonna see if that helps the airflow we might have to adjust it again it's just a matter of switching the taps thankfully somebody left the instruction manual it made it a lot easier uh, so as you can hear you can't even hear the compressor so that's cool um, so here's the pressures uh, I didn't bring my other phone so here's a screenshot so it's looking good so I'm gonna go downstairs and see how the um, See how the, uh, the temperatures are doing, how the airflow is, and then we'll go from there. But it looks like we're done here. We might have to tweak the fan speed a little more, but we'll see. So, good times. Reverse compressor, low fan speed. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am, uh, or you could uh, you know send some sweet nothings my way. But anyway, thanks again for watching. Yeah.